Hi everybody, welcome back. Um, we're in our third webcast of our series of four here for, for these two months of Yia and Sivan. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've been talking about the period of time between Pesach and, and um, Shavuot, or what we would call uh, Pentecost. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Okay, so you started telling me something about Pentecost, <coughs> but I didn't quite get it. So what is it? Okay, so what is... What is Pentecost? What, what is Pentecost? Well, Pentecost was the time, so this was, okay, if, if, we, if we connect the fact that, um, that Jesus Yeshua died around the time of Passover, then um, the idea of counting 50 days makes sense to Shavuot. Okay, so that we're a little bit off with the calendar a lot of the time. Um, and what happened was, so Yeshua had died, he came back, he appeared to many of his many of his followers, and and then he told them. He said to go to Jerusalem and wait until the Holy Spirit comes upon you, mm -hmm. and that's exactly what happened. So they, the the uh, uh, his followers, his disciples, they were they were in the center of Jerusalem, and um, and on that day, it was it was there's kind of a there's a kind of a fun story around it because. They, it was like you know how spoke. We've talked about speaking in tongues, so it was. Um, they found they they found themselves speaking in tongues, and all the people they they and it, all the people that were there that were all in, they were all there in Jerusalem because it was Shavuot. And um, they heard them all speaking in their own languages, and they said, "How can this? How can this be?" And then that gave the the disciples the opportunity to to talk about it. And then some people said, "No, they're just drunk. They're just drunk." And they said, "No, we're not just drunk. It's only nine o'clock in the morning." <laughs> <laughs> so there's a there's a whole kind of thing. But we we see it really as the time when uh, Yeshua sent the Holy Spirit to be in us, to live in us. And um, so it's very much a. Some people might call it the birthday. Of the, of the church, I don't yeah. know. That's um, that's for me. That's not the best um, way of describing it. I don't think. Mm. Okay. So, so that's that. That's what happened. And so when we think of think but of do that, you have then, a do? You, is there anything symbolic that you do counting those fifty days? No, not at all. And I think because because probably most of the time we can't count fifty days because if if Easter is off. You know, if the, if yeah, if, so you if, don't you if, don't have fifty days in any case between yeah, Easter. Yeah, if we're and if Passover. we're celebrating Easter, um, we really should be celebrating Passover right. and remembering Yeshua at that time would make a lot more sense. Yeah. Um, well, for us, well, for, for us, you know, we 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 opened basically the Bible before in Leviticus twenty three verse fifteen, and we read that there is one of the commands is to basically count the days from Pesach to Shavuot. We have fifty, we have forty nine days that we need to count, mm -hmm. and and we see that we basically have we basically have two separate commands here. There's one command which is about the counting. And there's another command which is about you know the sacrifice. Okay, so the verses basically they bring it kind of together, right? You need to count the days, and then on the fiftieth day bring a sacrifice. Right. And it's not one. It's not one command. These are two separate things. So you were asking me before, behind the scenes, you were asking <laughs> me. So how can people count the Omer today? And and that's really not a problem. I mean, I mean, we can still count the days. I mean, our calendar is the same calendar ever since. So, um, so, so, uh, so practically speaking, every night, every evening, mm -hmm. you know, we have an evening service every day. So every evening, uh, from, from a night after Pesach, all the way to a night before Shavuot, we have a special counting that we do. And we actually say it with a blessing. You know that every, every time we, fulfill, we, we have a command that we do, we say we say a special blessing before. Mm -hmm. We say mm -hmm. Baruch Ata Hashem, bless you, our O oh Lord, mm -hmm. uh, Eloheinu Melech Haolam, our our Lord, the King of the Universe, mm -hmm. Asher Kidashanu BeMitzvotav mm -hmm. VeTzivanu, that uh, uh, you uh, who sanctified. who sanctified us uh, in your uh, in uh, well not you but like the one who sanctified us with His commands mm -hmm. and commanded us to. 
Da, 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 da. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and, and then we actually say the thing that we actually do. Yeah. So, so every evening after the evening service, we actually say Baruch Ata Hashem Elokeinu Melech Haolam Asher Kidshano B'Mitzvota V'Tzivano Al Sfirat Haomer, counting the Omer. Counting the Omer. Counting the Omer, and then we say Hayom. Ah. Uh. Hayom, and then we say Hayom Esrim Yom LaOmer. Hayom Esrim VeEchad. Today is the, 20, the 20th. 20th day, today 21st day, today 22nd day, right. um, 23rd day. And if you actually open the, um, you know, we you know about the, like the whole uh, book of details of how to keep each command. Mm-hmm. So if you open the, sec- the, the section about counting the Omer, you actually see, you know, all these details about, okay, so what happens if somebody forgot to count one evening? Can he count on the following one? Or does it have to be in mm-hmm. sequence? So if mm-hmm. he basically missed one, he can't, he can't say the blessing anymore for the rest of the, for the, rest of the days after, mm-hmm. until Shavuot, which is actually the case. Um, if someone, let's say, if he miscalculated, let's say he, he counted the wrong number. Okay, let's say yesterday, let's say yesterday was the 20th, and then today he also said it's the 20th. Okay, he got himself confused. Okay, can he continue counting? I mean, we take it very seriously because this is a command directly from God. You mm-hmm. need to count these days. So we have to be very aware of what are the consequences because apparently it's very important that we count them. Apparently, otherwise it wouldn't be here. All right. So, so we actually do have, you know, quite a, quite a bit of details you know, of how to do that. How do you, um, like for instance, your children going to school, um, would they be doing something in school each day that would... They that would They would, would say really after the morning service, because mm-hmm. in school they go to a religious school, so yeah. they have service in the morning. So after the morning service, they would say, today is the 20th day of the Omer, today is the 21st day. The and the, would, they, would they have any visual aids? Would they ever like count... So no, I, I mean, I, I remember when I was in school, I uh, we had like a board, like a little yes. board, and mm-hmm. then we had numbers, and all we right. actually we basically flipped it through, right, uh, you know, the right, numbers right. every day, right. and it was all decorated with sheaf and with stuff like that. Yeah, stuff, yeah, yeah. So, so just really to so. bring you in into the atmosphere yes. of what is it exactly that you're doing. Right. Um, now, so that's basically the technical accounting, but mm-hmm. I would like us to try and think about the spiritual meaning of counting the days mm-hmm. because what are we actually counting we are counting from Pesach to Shavuot mm-hmm. what happened in Pesach what was what what is the big event of Pesach well it was coming up out of Egypt exactly mm-hmm. exactly so that was basically that was basically the beginning of redemption right right that, that's mm. the first redemption we experienced as a people but w- and what happened on Shavuot, 50 the days giving, there? The giving was, of the Torah. Exactly, the giving of the Torah. All right. B- the, basically, the purpose f- of redemption. Mm. If, it wouldn't be for, if it wouldn't be for Shavuot, what's the purpose of Pesach? Mm. Why did God want us to, get out of, to go out of Egypt? Why did God bother to take us out and to send Moses and all that? What did Moses say to Pharaoh? He said, let my people go. So they may, may worship exactly. So they may worship me, mm-hmm. okay. And they, and who knows what? I mean, nobody knew back then what it meant. Right. Nobody could know. No, I mean, nobody nobody knew about Mount Sinai and, and all these like and, and, mm-hmm. and the Torah that we were about to be given. Right. So, so I mean, if it wouldn't be for Shavuot, Shavuot is the purpose. It gives a reason for Pesach to take place. Mm-hmm. So why did we go? Why did we? Why did God take us out of Egypt? In order to give us the Torah, mm-hmm. in order to to have a, hu- a a people part of humanity to keep the book of life, right? To keep God's manual mm-hmm. for 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 His chosen people. And that mm-hmm. that was the whole reason. If it were if it wouldn't if it weren't for that, then uh, then what's the um, What's the mean? What's the purpose of all yeah, yeah, yeah. of all the big fast that they had in Egypt? And, so, and the the sense too of um, you know, I mean, I think just generally on the whole, we pass from day to day. We just kind of go from one day into the next day into the next day. And I think if you're talking, you know, if God said to to count these days for yourselves, that then it's it's like a, a total. 
it's a real consciousness of it's in a sense we're counting them with him mm -hmm. because he's he's asked he's asked to count them so it's something to do together isn't it it's in a sense, well both something him. to do together but also um there's a sense of it's coming up it's coming. it's coming up. Yes. Okay, it's coming up. We're climbing. Yes. We're climbing a fifty, fifty steps ladder. Yes. Or he's I mean? coming closer. Or he's coming down. Yeah. That yes. that that's also true. Yes. But but do, do you know what I mean? Yes. That's basically the meaning of it. Mm -hmm. Because we need to see. I mean, God is actually giving us this grid of time, from Pesach, the time of our redemption, our physical redemption, all the way up to our spiritual redemption. Mm -hmm. Mount Sinai was it was was a spiritual redemption. We were on that event. We were we were set free from anything which base, which 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 existed in the world mentally, spiritually, culturally. Then we were given a new way. Mm. Then it it was really shown what a chosen people really needs to look like. Right. And and these days that we need to count, and those days, and these days, to, exactly now is are the days that we are actually counting. So every evening we count the day, and we need to basically put our minds into the right focus. Mm -hmm. We are counting the days for our spiritual redemption, right? From our physical redemption to the spiritual yes. redemption. So it's not a, it's not a sort of a passive thing. It's okay now we're out of Egypt, and then boom. No. <laughs> Here's the Torah. No, no, no. no. There's, it was, there's it like was a now we're out of Egypt. No, now, no, like, it was, uh, yeah. It, it was, it was, it was, and it is a process yeah. because every year anew we come out of Egypt. We talked about that on our on mm -hmm. our Nissan mm -hmm. webcast. Every year anew we come out of Egypt, so every man should see himself being redeemed. Right. So therefore. Every gen in every year, we need to see ourselves receiving Torah all over new, mm -hmm. and uh, it's it's quite of a it's quite of an experience, I have to say. Yeah, it's quite of an experience. So on on uh, Shavuot, are we going to talk a little bit more about Shavuot? Uh, we will on the next one. Okay, all right, because I want to talk about that. <laughs> but we're going to finish with a song, right? Yes. Do you want to present that? Well, when, you when can... When did you first see that song? I, Come well, on, tell you, them, tell when them. When you gave it to me <laughs> to learn and part of my lessons. Um, yeah, I love this song. It's, I mean, just the... I mean, I, I suppose I could sort of fall in love with the melody of it because it's just... There's something so special about it and the way it, and the way it fits the words. But I mean, uh, You know, the words are actually an, a very old prayer. Yes. Very old prayer that was, uh, that was uh, written for protection. Mm. Do you want to go over the... Do you want to tell them the words in English? Because yeah, I, I definitely can't do that. I actually... I did write them down, although they seemed a little bit of an... Um, I wasn't quite sure about the translation but exactly, but I, I didn't translate it. This is what has obviously been passed down mm -hmm. over the centuries in terms of it being translated into the English. But it says, By the great power of your right hand, set the captives free. Revered God, accept your people's prayer. Strengthen us, cleanse us. Almighty God, guard us as the apple of the eye of, the eye of those who seek you. Bless them, cleanse them, pity them, ever grant them your truth. Mighty Holy God, in your abundant grace, guide your people. Accept our prayer, hear our cry, you who know secret thoughts. Blessed be the name of his glorious majesty forever and ever. Amen. I like it. <laughs> yeah, it's, like really, it. it's really strong. It's, <laughs> it's a lot of words. Well, well it is. It, well, it is very strong. And, and, and actually, this song is connected with the Sfirat Omer, with the counting of the Omer, because we have seven weeks. Mm -hmm. And this, uh, this uh, prayer in Hebrew has seven lines. Mm. Okay, a bit, more, a bit less than what you did. When, yeah, when you wrote, yeah. it Hebrew comes is, out a lot more in English. Yeah, <laughs> Hebrew is a lot shorter than, than English all the time. Um, so, so we basically have seven lines for that, uh, for that uh, prayer. And each week we focus on one line. And, and again, this, this, this prayer is about uh, protection. Yeah. It's about protection mm -hmm. and, and asking for purity and, and Him to, to, cle to, mm -hmm. to cleanse us. So it's, it's a very intimate prayer, very mm -hmm. much. I definitely. Mean, definitely. So 
So the, the melody we were just about to sing yeah. um, is, uh, is, is a recent one. Right. And it, it actually, it used to be played on every playlist and in every regular uh, radio station, you know, right. when, it, when, it was, when it just uh, came out. So it was very interesting yeah, to see, you know, I people all over Israel, yeah, yeah. you know, just, just singing these words, which are very, very powerful from very important key places in, right. in the service. Amazing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 